Aloha! This is Dr. Tiki, writing a prescription for tiki drinks, tattoos, and tech. What could be more fun? It's time for another Strange Love Live. This is Strange Love. Good evening and welcome back. I think this is our first episode with an actual guest in the studio in a few weeks. I'm your host, Gammy Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, and this is also the first episode of the new year. The first real episode of the, the new year. The first episode of the new year. Yes. And we're joined by special guest, Audrey Eshray. Hello. That's a spinner in on Twitter, in case you didn't <laughs> in already know. In case you didn't know. learn my first name. And our special guests this evening are Aaron Weiss and Stephanie Strickland from KGW News Channel 8. We get to talk about beer and blogging with Justin Kissner. Heck yes. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about or blogs. It's past and it's present and it's future. And we're going to do that with three of the people who've been working very, very hard on it. Don't tell me that you haven't been working hard on it. Two on have. camera. Two on camera and one right here to my left. That's right. But we've got John Meta. Hi. And we've got AJ. Yeah! Yeah! And we've got Bill Jackson. We're joined by Chris Blanchard. Silicon Floors is from Idaho. (laughs) And Wyatt Werner. Say say hello. Hello. Here we are. Glad to be here. Good evening and welcome to the Strange Love Live Sex Episode 2. I'm your host, Cammie Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal, but this time he's going to be very, very quiet. Hello. Okay, no more talking for you. Um, Hello. Yeah, I said no more talking. Hi. Do you want to see the boobies? Yeah, I'm looking now. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you want to see the boobies, shh, shh. I'll be quietly reading about you know, history or something, the Third Reich or the Roman okay, Empire. That's fine. Here I'm going to introduce the okay. ladies now. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start over here with. We are. Yeah. What? We're sitting by, by size from large to <gasps> Oh, except for mine. I'm talking about the Okay. Couch. So, so anyway, over here mic, with yeah. the we're, largest we're breasts on the couch with. <laughs> Cam Bam. Cam Bam. Hey, Cam Bam. <laughs> and then we have Melissa Lyon, who's the medium sized breasts on the couch. <laughs> And then small. we have Leah with the small but perk breasts. Oh, thank perk, you. Perk, okay. perky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when we first started having Portland tech folk on the show, Dr. Normal said to me one morning over breakfast, you know what would be really great is if we get that guy Raven Zachary on the show sometime. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, you know? And I said, yes, maybe. Maybe someday. Maybe. I don't know. Well, that someday is now. And we have Z- Raven Zachary. Hello. And... James Keller. You have to say hello, James. Hi, everyone. We're going to talk about tagless, and then we're going to talk about combo tweet. Yes, yes, we are. And with John Nastos. Hello, hello John. everyone. Hello, John. <laughs> or JNPDX on Twitter. And this week, I'm joined by two of the members of Shazow, Don Foster and Ryan Snyder. Hello. Hello. Hey, everybody. Uh, that first uh, one minute, that clip that you saw or, or heard, depending on how you're partaking of the podcast, was Liz Grover's Ignite Portland 3 presentation. That's right. And tonight we're joined by Liz Grover. Hey. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. This week's guest is a man with many, many, many hats. Although I don't think I've ever seen him wearing one. <laughs> Reed Beals. This evening's guest is Brad Smith of Web Visions. Hello. This evening we have a first. We have someone on the show that has brought many, many props. Tech gadget guy, Brian M. Westbrook. Well, hello. hello. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing well. It's been a great week. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of craziness going on. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's great to cap up the week here. This evening, we're going to tell you about something new 
and very exciting to us, and I hope it's going to be very exciting to you. And to start that off, I'm going to introduce you to Nico Herzog. Hi. And Christine Kistner. Hello. Uh, who have a new show coming up called Weekly Access. Why, yes, we do. This evening, we have a record for the furthest a guest has ever come to be on the show, and I'm sure he's just here for us. We have Irk all the way from Australia. G'day, Cammy. Really, really pleased to be here. It's just awesome to be in the Strange Love Live studio. Who would have thought? I'm so glad. Oh, my microphone is very hot. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad I'm here too. And this evening instead, we're coming to you from Bar Camp Portland 3. <laughs> and we have a Bar Camp Portland 3 audience. Thank you, audience. And because it's Bar Camp Portland 3, we have from Bar Camp, the, some of the organizers from Bar Camp, Amy Farrell and Todd Knefsky. Can I say that right? We are joined by Eva and David, the propi- proprietors of Cube Space, <laughs> which is where Bar Camp is being held. And so everyone, Verso, thank you. And she's also a karaoke master. <laughs> Verso, entertain the people while I make myself a drink. Okay, um, I actually really don't know what I'm going to talk about either, but um, mm. I guess I'll start with why I'm here. Yeah, to go. Are you going to tell us about the 140 character movie review, or are you going to yes, do I impressions? Yes, I am. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to talk okay. about a lot of things. This is so. Oh, were you playing werewolf? Are you playing werewolf? No, I'm not playing werewolf. I've never oh, played okay. werewolf before. I, I've played werewolf. I got killed by the werewolves once. And, you were know, you a villager and they killed you? I was a villager and the werewolves got me. I guess they thought I was the seer or something. <laughs> wanted to say that I really, uh, really enjoyed the community mm-hmm. that uh, is developed here in Portland. I uh, just moved back to Portland from mm-hmm. Bend, Oregon, um, and very excited to be back in Portland. Go. What do I say? <laughs> I'm Chris. Um, I'm just a dude. I grew up here in Portland. <laughs> just a dude. <laughs> just a dude. That's uh, the best intro that any guest on our show has ever had. <laughs> I'm just that. a dude. Before that, on bulletin boards and stuff. And I think that's that's kind of a lot of people um, forget the old school. A lot of people kind of assume that everything's been like Web 2.0 mm-hmm. and YouTube and you know other things like that. Facebook. They uh, forget Pine. Right. They yeah. forget that Usenet existed. Right. Yeah. Ibar Camp had beer. Uh huh. Bar Camp had Bar beer. Camp has beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Correlation, maybe. Causation, definitely. And I know <laughs> Coincidence? That no. <laughs> a website, uh, it's called uh, tunelet.com. It lets anybody make their own web comics. And, uh, Yay, <laughs> if you've not been to tunelet.com, there's something wrong with you, please go. <laughs> Dom, take it over. Educate me, please. So Odeo was one of the first podcasting tools mm-hmm. before Apple got into the game. Mm-hmm. We were the open source alternative to Open the source, podcasting. ladies and gentlemen. Phenomenal. Um, so I work for the, uh, I'm here from Seattle. I work for the ACLU of Washington State. And this evening we're joined by Troy Harlan and Sam Alexander. Hello. Hello. From Vidoop. Vidoop. <laughs> That's I, us. I just like to say it. <laughs> and it's the only reason I have you guys on the show is I can say video. So just as a little side note to this song, uh, this was one of the rare occasions where um, the songwriting process was just, it just came together almost immediately. And yeah, it, it, pretty much like this since the first time uh, we yeah, played it. Like we didn't know what to do at this point and then it just happened. So their company was moving up and we were like, well, you know, what are we gonna do about this? Uh, when actually the uh, president of their company, uh, Luke Sontag, suggested he, he's a fan of the music and a uh, cool, oh, wow. cool guy and suggested Very that we cool. all move up with them. This evening's very special guest is making a reappearance on our show. He's a favorite of our show. It's Nate Angel. Hello and greetings. Hello, Nate. Thanks for having me back. And our guest this evening is Hello Tol, Nate Angel. And hello from me. And we're going to address two serious subjects and then Dr. Normal will, as promised, open up the chat room. Uh, The first of which being that uh, if you go to Cube Space PDX, uh, their website, 
or well, I went to save cube space well, the, right? Yes. Well, you'll get the yes. full story on that website, right. or if you go, uh, there's an article about it on uh, the Silicon Florist and on our PDX. Uh, they want to evict cube space. That was the early this morning. What was happening since? Since then, so many events have transpired. Everyone uh, has has offered to help, has given help, has monetarily helped, thrown their support around, yelled and screamed and said, no, you can't do this. And uh, there have been changes in the situation, and the details aren't all being released. But this morning, even David had no options. And, and this well, why don't evening, you give us the update? That's the update. Talk, the the oh, update I you was on the phone earlier. I did talk on the phone, and the and the show. phone was that they're really grateful for what everyone is doing for them, and they have uh, such gratitude for the community that that they have been such huge supporters of, and yeah. it's only right that the it's community, their community. <laughs> exactly that the community is is clamoring to give something back, um, and they had no options this morning, and now they feel like they have some room to move. Issue number two. Issue two. Issue two. What do you, you say? You can about call that? me a tranny all you want. Arr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, seriously, you can. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> Doctor Normal is going to put his sunglasses on. Uh, but once you start slurring entire groups of people based on their gender, their race, Racial, their sexual preference, sexual their religion, preference, anything, or you're going to get the, you're going to get the chat room shut down. Uh, you know that's just not. We can't go and bounce each one of you for it. It's just everyone's going to be punished. But boys calling Cami Chaos a tranny is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, I'm just saying. Later on, she promised to give us proof one way or the other. Exactly. Yes, but you guys were naughty, so I'm not going to. I want proof. No proof for you guys. <laughs> this evening, we are joined by the co-founders of OS Bridge, a conference here in Portland about open source, uh, Audrey Ashray and Selena Deckelman. Hello. Thank you. Hello. How are you guys? Very good. Thanks for having us. This evening's guest we could have had on for many, many reasons, and many of them we will talk about later, but right now we're going to talk with Sean Levy uh, from The Oregonian about blogging and technology with newspapers. How are you doing, John? I'm doing great. Thanks so much. This is, this is incredibly cool. This is a great setup, and, and I'm charmed. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. We have done two entire days of tech episodes, and I figure that if there's ever been an episode that we deserve to have all after hours, it's this evening. <laughs> I'm Cammy Chaos, this is Strange Love Live, and this evening I have a beautiful co-host. His name is Brian Westbrook. <laughs> Brian Westbrook. How come I can't say West, your last name? West, Westbrook. I can't say it either. That's great. <laughs> We're off to a really good start here at After Hours. What can I say, right? Who gave me a show? Right? There we go. Can you look into each other's just, eyes? Just, just hold it right oh, there. Oh, dude, if I bend my head over, then it. I'm afraid the hat's going to fall off. You have lovely eyes, Brian. You have a lovely helmet on your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with yeah, a, I do. What a, number a, is my helmet? Your number, well, I don't know, 3 or 33 or 10 or 15. Depends on which side I look at it, right? If you were to point it right at the camera, it would distort all sorts of settings. That looks great. <laughs> she presently looks like a Jawa. <laughs> uh, this is Brian Acker. Mm -hmm. Did I say it right? No. Acker? <laughs> yes. Oh, second time. <laughs> Jeff Rowe. I can just kind of like, you know. Hi, oh, you're the Jeff one with the Rowe. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I learned well this week. You learn well this week? Yeah, you say good, but y'all forced it what, well. What, what'd you learn well? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> my name's, uh, my last name's, <laughs> I can't do this. If you talk like Jeff Harzen, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> my last name uh, is Kiter. That was Kiter. Uh, Kiter. Kiter, yeah. All right, thank I'm you. I'm here Strange Love Live. Very happy to be here, by the way. Kim. How you doing? I'm great. This is the uh, first time I've seen the show and been on it simultaneously or any time. So, um, it's nice. It's we awesome. love Pong. Ah, uh, yes. Because Will Wheaton couldn't be on the show tonight. We decided to just knock him around. Da -da 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 Will, come back to us. Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. Yep. All right. Good. Because I've said that name before, and if I had said it incorrectly, I would be a little bit upset with myself. And kind, of, kind of entertaining is that people on the East Coast uh -huh. have a tendency to say J. Rasmussen. We need to stop and introduce enough, you. Uh, yeah, enough Hurricane enough. McEwen. Yes. At Hurricane McEwen on Twitter? Uh, that's correct. Where are you on the web? 
at hurricanemcewen.com as well. All right, you have four minutes and nine seconds to tell us about OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap is a community of people building the free map of the world. We have Christy Kohler and Sherry Montgomery. And I'll let you guys share your Twitter. Oh, you're Yogini! Oh! Hi! Yeah, I'm PDX Yogini. Okay, so share your Twitter names. Not that I didn't just squeal one. All right. I'm Christy. It's actually Kaler on Twitter. Oh, Kaler. I'm sorry. And that's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-E-K-O-E-H-L-A-R. There'll be a quiz on that later. <laughs> And on the pronunciation, which I got wrong, or the spelling, which I got right? Hmm, both. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, PDX Yogini, which is Y-O-G-I-N-I. PDX Yogini. Yeah. Which means someone who does yoga. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, though, I'm joined by Wizard Boots and Diesel Hello. Boy. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Pie, don't you? I love pie. Okay, so the sad thing about the Portland Pie for me last year was that I was there for the entire thing up until like the last moment, and just as you let people go and eat the pie, we had to leave. Oh no! Yeah, so I got to eat no pie. We've got to bring some semblance of technology to the tech episode, Betsy. I don't know how the hell I follow that. I don't how know do if I, anyone follows that. They were that. both like, well, I don't know what we're going to talk about. We're going to be boring. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. No, Morgan PDX. Yay, baby! Yay. Oh. And PDX Advice Guy, what are you on Twitter? Um, many, many things. Actually, I have PDX Advice Guy and I have Endless Monkeys from my boring, non-advice related junk. This is Pageant. This is Aaron. Is there a reason that um, there's waving occurring? Uh, Aaron could shift back with just a hair. Thank you. You are blocking my shot. <gasps> Well, he's not my son, right, so I'm right, allowed to right. think he's nice. Uh, I'll correct you this ask if people were watching this. So. Oh. <laughs> I'm Cosmic Mick Charlie. Yay, that's me. I'm excited about meeting Cosmic Charlie. Because I've always wanted to meet Cosmic Teresa, Charlie. And then I Cosmic Charlie, Cosmic Charlie. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure Teresa, to meet you. Teresa, I've been in your bar, but I didn't know that. This evening, we are joined by Tyler Sticka. Hello. It's great to be here. Oh, yeah. He has to turn your microphone on. No, he's on. on he's on. I'm on. How you doing, Tyler? Oh, I'm doing great, Cammy. This evening, we're joined by Jason Grigsby. Hello, everyone. And I apologize. I actually distracted you right before the camera <laughs> turned on. So. And I didn't put his mic <laughs> and then, on. And then, the yeah, and then Dr. Normal didn't turn your mic on. <laughs> So I'll, uh, this is Jason Grigsby. Hello, everyone, again. And I should apologize again for messing up and uh, distracting Cammy just as the camera turned on. This week, our guest is Abraham Hyatt, who's here to talk about Digital Journalism Camp. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good. Where can we find information about Digital Journalism Camp online, and where can we find you online? You can find me at abrahamhyatt.com. Pretty easy. And you can find the camp at journopdx.wordpress.com This evening, straight back from Blogger, to talk about Blogger and to give us a little bit of a recap, we have got Alyssa Lyon and Catherine Martini. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? We're jet lagged. Yeah. So it's a two hour time difference. It was really hell on us. Both ways. This evening's very special guest is not here to talk about himself. He's here to talk about his blog. So we are joined live in studio by Rick Terosi. Hello. Hello, Rick. Hello. How are you? Great. Happy Aww, birthday. Oh, thank you. Very nice. All right. So it's not your birthday. No, not my birthday. It's not your birthday, so would you like to tell us why we just gave you roses? Uh, well, it's the, the blog's birthday. Good evening and welcome to Strange Love Live. It's a bonus tech edition. We're here tonight with Jason Glasby and Scott Caviton. And we've got Dr. Normal too, but he doesn't have a microphone, so I think, you know, we'll be fine without him. You can heckle. Um, we're going to talk first about Portland Incubator Experiment yes. and then about Urban Airship, but I want you to start off by telling us. I'm just calling it PI. Are we supposed to call it PIE? What are we supposed to call it? And then what the hell is it? I think we're figuring out what to call it, too. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Tech Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. We've got Aaron Hockley here to talk about WordCamp Portland, and Dale Chumley as well. Um, but 
the sad news is, is that if you're watching this and you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you're going to have to go on the wait list. <laughs> yeah, we had a really great situation in that we've sold all of our tickets uh, much faster than we anticipated. So it's it's a good problem to have. Unfortunately, though, if there are people that still want to get in, um, there's a couple different ways they can do that. But the waiting list is kind of the main one. This evening, we're joined by Brett Burmeister from Good evening. foodcartsportland.com. Yes. And Greg Abbott. Hello. Of Whiffy's fame. Whiffy's. <laughs> he did not bring me any pies, but it's his day off, so I'm okay with that. We've got Steve Galen mm -hmm. and Tad Lukasik. Yes, thank you. Welcome, guys. Yep, nice yeah, thank you. Here. Thanks for having us. So before we get into any of the nitty-gritty, the planning and what's going to go on with the conference, I want you to talk to me a little bit about the history of it, because this is, what, 13 years, 12 years? Yeah, it ran for 12 in the original run, mm -hmm. and then it was dark for seven, mm -hmm. and then it came back in 2008, so this will be the second year back after that. Our guests this evening are Josh Bancroft and Jerry McCarr. Did I get it right? Yeah. Close? Very good. Yay. Good. Who are here to talk to us a bit about Intel Software Network TV. Did I put them in the right order? You got that one right, too. You're two for two. Oh, boy. I've been looking really forward to talking to Michelle Anderson and to Megan Kate about Michelle's story, The Miracle in July. Thanks for having us here, Cammy. Thank you. Really Thanks excited. for coming on. Yeah. Now, it's the tech edition, so we can't get into all the juicy, seedy, <laughs> gory, hot details of the story. This week, we're joined by Stephen Walling. Hi. That's you. Mm hmm So, we have people on the show for a variety of different reasons, but a big part of the reason that we wanted to have you on the show is that you do something that you seem to be very passionate about. You work in the field of Wikipedia. I'm not even sure exactly what it is. You're a Wikipedia editor. Is that, what is it exactly? That Wikipedia editor works, um, Wikipedian. A Wikipedian? Yeah, that, that works too. This evening we're joined by Mark Coleman. Hello. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. It's been a while since we've had you on the show. It's been a long time. Yeah. Things have been happening. Things have been going on. Things have been wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. And... This week, yesterday, you opened a show at an interesting space because it's not really an art gallery. It's kind of a tech workshop, creative, frenetic energy zone at Pi. Yes. It's, it's Wyden and Kennedy's Portland Incubator Experiment. This evening's guest is Robert Wagner, uh, better known to Portland as PDX Sucks. Hi, Robert. Hi. How you doing? I'm well. Yeah? I'm, well, I'm pretty well. I'm lying. I'm actually a little hungover, but I'm Hungover well. and tired? Yeah. Yeah. You can still be well and hungover and tired. It works. Well hungover? Well, there you go. <laughs> you can be well hungover. This week, we are joined by Will Raddick and Bobby Fatboy Roberts. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going? Hello. So let's, before we go any further, let's just get the Twitter names out of the way so that everyone can go and rush to you on Twitter. <laughs> All right, sounds good to me. So Will Raddick That's and Will Fat Boy Roberts. Yes. Yeah, no, yes. no spaces, none of that, just it's all one simple. word. Yeah, yeah. It, You've made it very easy for We're trying everyone. to make it easy to find. I appreciate that. That's nice. I, I, I wonder about the people actually who put big uh, numbers after their Twitter, like they don't want anybody to find them or something. Mm -hmm. Although, Will Raddick has a K, no CK. That's true. I'm just saying, I have maybe tweeted at Will Raddick with a C. <laughs> Never heard that before. A couple times. And then felt like an idiot later. And tonight, our guest is Curtis Chen. Hello. How you doing tonight? Good. Good. Yourself? Mm. <laughs> Before we go any further, I should probably explain that I have a, I have a cold. Um, so I don't normally sound like I smoke 12 packs a day. <laughs> and if I cough in your ear, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, Curtis is here to talk to us about a multitude of things. Most, most of which you can find uh, by going to snout.org, which is your yes. website. Yep. Um, and you can find out more about what he's doing in his everyday life at at Sparkle on Twitter. Yes, S P A R C K L. Correct. Yeah. And we're going to start off by talking about five twelve words or fewer. And this week, our guest is horror author and a uh, woman of many talents, Jamia Jefferson. Hello. Hi, Jamia. How are you? I'm great. Now, I should I should state for the record that I've known Jamia since before I think I was old enough to drink. 
although I've not seen you <laughs> in like 14 years. <laughs> That definitely happens yeah. kind of a lot. It happens a lot in my circle. Yeah. Yeah. It happens to me a lot. I meet people. And tonight's guest is Scott McCarty of Lock It to You. Well, hi. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for having me tonight. Before we get started, um, I want to say that, you know, it's November. We're going into the holiday season. And so we're taking a little bit of a different tack with Strange of Life for the next few weeks. And part of that is that we're going to talk with Scott about uh, Lock It to You, which is a company that was created this year mm-hmm. and that he and his wife have brought up from from the ground yeah. using some social media skills. That's right, yeah. This is John Nastos. This is Clay Iverson. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Kami. Thanks for coming out. To, well, thanks for letting us <laughs> in, actually. we didn't. You didn't have to go anywhere. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the setup? This is the studio that you record the Duo Chronicles in each week. And tonight's guest is Brian Re- Westbrook. Why do I always say your name wrong like the second you come on my show? You know, somebody last night, uh, we were at Wiffy, somebody said, uh, and introduced me. I've known this guy, followed him online on Twitter. Um, he said, uh, you're Brian Westerbrook, right? Wester. Westerbrook. <laughs> and then so then I had to tell him the story about how my dad once sent a postcard that said, Dear Brain. <laughs> Was that a compliment? I'm not sure. Dad. So you're forgiven. You're forgiven. Again, tonight we're talking about foodgeeks.com with Ryan Snyder and Crystal Beasley. Later on in the episode, we're going to have Nate De Niro join us. But right now, let's find out from Ryan what Food Geeks is, because it's 10 years old and it's got a new life right now. <laughs> it is 10 years old. Um, uh, food Geeks is a recipe sharing website. Um, mm-hmm. It's designed to let people geek out about food and help each other come become better chefs. And so essentially what that means is they, um, they don't change uh they don't do a whole lot of things to the wine they um they don't add yeast they don't add sugars and this evening we're joined by dane hesseldahl and nate bedortha from similar hi hi Hi, guys so before we get into the whole history of how similar came to be i just want you in the simplest terms pretend i've never seen it before what is similar uh well similar is sort of uh a, a different perspective on, on social networking where as opposed to making connections to people that you arbitrarily know like you know we're in the same bowling league or, or whatever it's about meeting people who like the same things that you like and- ah! now it can be chaos and this can be strange love live from 30 hour day right now no. <laughs> what this is my thing go ahead you go ahead yeah you just stand there what? What? He's, he's going to do it too. Okay, you stand. Just take a step to the side. Okay, I'm Cam Mikaeus. This is 30. Oh, jeez. Okay, Dr. Hey. Normal would like hey. to be introduced as How's well. Going? Okay. Oh, dude. All right. I was going to. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Should I give you the bear hug like you gave me in our publicity shots? I was going to introduce the we, band. I need a mic. I was going to. Oh. The mic was. Okay, you can band. introduce the band. Hi, yeah. Doc Normal here. How are you That's doing? not fine. You're a ham. I know. And you're a ham. What did I do? Uh, this is my time to be a ham, okay? Good evening and welcome to Strange Love Live and 2010. I'm Cami Chaos, your host of Strange Love Live, but not 2010. You can do your own thing for the year. Um, and as always, behind the desk, we've got the lovely Dr. Normal. And our guest this evening is Rick Tarosi. Hello. Hi, Rick. Hi. How are you? Good. Long, Good. Long time no see, I know, Rick. It's been a few days since I've seen you guys. No, it hasn't. Oh. <laughs>
Hey, maybe we should uh, start this show at 10.30. <laughs> maybe that would That's solve all problems. I think if we started number. this show at 10.30, then the show wouldn't start till 10.45. Uh, 